Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics and the topic is vectors. So we are going to be doing addition of vectors now that we know what vectors are and we are going to look at like examples of how we work out with vectors. So a movement on a straight line from point A to point B can be represented using a vector. This movement is usually referred to as displacement. So for example, if I want to move from point A to point B, remember we said A is the beginning point, B is the terminal. So we can use different direction and one of the direction we can use from the diagram we have been given is we can go from A, C, and then we go to C, B. So if we look at this vector, for example, if we give this if we give this uh, uh, diagram uh, specific values, like in this case, we can give this A and then this B and then this C. Then when we do our addition, that is A B, it, it would be A A B, it would be A C, which is C plus CB, which is now opposite, minus B. That's how we would calculate. If you wanted to get, for example, BC, vector BC, from this point here to point here. So we can move in this direction. So we can, it's going to be BA plus AC. And we know BA is going to be a opposite because it's moving to the opposite direction it's going to be minus a plus ac which is c if we wanted to get vector ac for example from this point here to this point here the direction is missing so it means we can be able to go to ab you move ab plus bc so AB is opposite in direction because it is, it's a correct direction. So it's going to be A plus BC, which is going to be plus B. So that's how we add vectors. So let's look at more. So you have been given this also two, uh, the, uh, two vectors, that is X and Y. So you want to get this specific vector, that is this point to this point. So we are going to give it a node. So it's going to be x plus y. This vector is actually x plus y. Because if we need to move from uh, point this point to this point, we will move to this direction first, which is x, and then plus y, so that we can get to this point. Same applies with this. If we want to move from this point to this point, we are going to have minus y plus, uh, not minus, it's in the same direction. So it is y plus minus x, which gives us y minus x. So that, that's how we, we do addition of vectors. When you are moving in a this we are moving from one specific point to the other, we look at what is the alternative direction that we can move to get to that specific terminal point. So we want to look for the diagonals, express diagonals in terms of a b and c but first before we do that remember this is a cube so f a is equals to b e so this vector also is going to be a and then remember also c b c is the same as a uh, p we give this p so if a p is this is going to be c remember the vector is in the same direction so also this is going to be b and then this also is b and then this is B as well. And then this is C. And C as well, this side. And then remember this is A as well. And A. Alright. So if you were to take the diagonal, let's say we take diagonal A, C. So we, we, we are moving from, from point A to point C. This is our vector. That means you go to AB, then plus BC. 
and our AB is vector B plus BC is vector C. So that is going to be our first vector. And then if we were to move from A to G, this direction, so A, G, then we would move from A, B plus B, G, or we would go to A, F plus F, G. You'll notice it's the same regardless of the direction. So A, B is going to be B and also A, F. A, A, B, which is B, plus B, G, which is A. If we take A, F, A, F is, A, F is A, vector A, plus F, G, which is vector B, which is just the same as what we've gotten. Next, we look at diagonal, let's look at diagonal C, G. Let's move C, G. So we are moving from C to G. So if we want to move from C to G, we can use C, B plus B, G. Or we can use C, H plus H, G. So let's use this, the two of them and see if they're the same. So C, B, it's opposite of B, C, so it's going to be minus C plus B, G, which is A. So this is the same as A minus C. So C, H is A plus H, G, which is opposite of C minus C. So this is the same as A minus C. So you see we have been able to answer that question. So let's look at another diagonal. Uh, we can look at uh, diagonal A, E, G. So E, G. So we are moving from E to G. So we are going to move at E, F plus F, G. Or we can move to from EH plus HG. So EF, EF is opposite direction. So it's opposite of FE plus FG, which is A. So this is the same as A minus C. So EH, that is B, not A. So B minus C. And then E H is B, vector B, plus H G, which is opposite of G H, so minus C. So this is the same as B minus C. So you see the vectors are the same either way you use. So let's pick a diagonal at the center. If you were to pick A from A H, you can see that the diagonal is moving up to H. Meaning for us to move from A to H, we can take A, F, F, G, G, H. Let's take that. So we have A, F plus F, G plus G, H. So A, F is vector A plus F, G, which is vector B plus G, H, which is vector C. So our answer is going to be A plus B plus C. Here we are going to pick the last one, which is from B to E. So we can move from, we have B, E is going to be B, G plus You can move from B, G, and then G, F, G, F, then plus F, E. So we are moving this direction. We're moving from B to G, G to F, F to E, so that we can move from E to B to E. 
So this becomes B G is A. And then G F is negative B plus F E, which is C, and that is our answer. So you see how we are able to add these vectors. So check out for more revision questions and also more topic questions on the same so that you can be able to understand. And also we have notes in the app. See you in the next lesson.